Hey all, Kyle here, AA0Z. I've got an interesting topic for you today. AI is all of the rage. You've heard it probably in the news, and maybe some of you have actually gotten into some of the AI websites like ChatGPT. And we are going to take AI and we are going to write a node red flow automatically and we're going to apply it to some relays and we're going to see if it works. I've done this with other uh, things that I've been uh, trying to get over a hurdle in node red whenever I get to a point where I don't know what is next and how to program something in node red. I go to chat GPT and I uh, ask it a question and it usually spits out some type of JSON code and then I go from there. It is uh, an easier way of me typing in what I want and having AI create that code for me versus me looking up a bunch of scripts or some things on GitHub or Stack Overflow to figure out an answer. So, and what I have here is a Raspberry Pi 4. It has got a four port relay that sits on top of this Raspberry Pi, it's a Pi hat, and this is actually this Key Studio 5 volt four channel hat shield module expansion board for Raspberry Pi 4. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to buy this. But what we're going to do is we are going to ask G uh, ChatGPT to write us a flow for this, and we're going to test it out to see if it works. So let's get started. All right, above me here is the chat GPT interface. So if you go to chat.openai.com, you can get to this website, link in the description below. And I have already fed it some information and pretty much have, have created all of the, uh, the things that I need to create in order to import this flow into Node-RED. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the things that I asked it and what it spit out. So I asked ChatGPT, do you know what the Key Studio 5 volt uh, four channel relay hat shield module for Raspberry Pi is? So I asked it, do you know what this is? And it said, as of my last update in September 2020 or 2021, it knew what this was and then gave a disclaimer that said, keep in mind that technology and products names may change over time. So we determined that ChatGPT knows what this Raspberry Pi hat is. So then I asked it, write a flow in Node-RED to control this Raspberry Pi hat. So it knew that I was asking it, hey, the question that I just asked you, if you knew what that device was, that hat device, that four volt or that four channel relay, I want you to write a flow in Node Red to control this Raspberry Pi. So it came back and said, hey, to control the four channel relay, you'll need to set up Node Red and install the necessary nodes to interact with the GPIO pin. So there is a, uh, a node that you need to install, Node Red Contrib GPIO, but it it asks you or it it, it goes through the steps of localhost uh, port 1880. That is the workspace of Node Red. Click on the hamburger menu and select Manage Palette. Go to the Install tab and search for and install the Node Red Contrib GPIO node, which allow you you to uh, control the GPIO pins. Then we're gonna create the flow. So it literally tells you how to uh, drag an inject node, drag the GPIO out uh, to the workspace, go to the GPIO node settings. Uh, I'm sure that there's a, probably a drop down, and it says uh, GPI, GPIO pin 17 on relay one, uh, the output type as uh, PMW or PWM. If you wanna control the relay, as a dimmer, uh, set it to on or off. So it's basically giving you the steps of how to control this this uh, device by just you know talking you through the Node Red flow. Which okay, but.
But then I said, write me a flow in JSON format to control this Raspberry Pi hat. I wanted it to write the code, okay? So it came through here and it started to write code that I can copy and import into my Raspberry Pi node red flow. And then it uh, says to use this flow, copy the JSON code above, open your node red dashboard to the workspace, uh, select import, paste the JSON code, uh, hit the deploy button. And we also need to make sure the GPIO uh, contrib node is uh, installed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy this code and we are going to see if it works. So you come over here to copy code and it says that it's copied. So now I'm going to come over to my test pie that I've got here. So I'm going to start a new tab and it's called flow number five. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to call it um, four channel relay and click done. So now I'm going to come over here to the hamburger menu and I'm going to select import here and it's going to bring up a dialog box that I can import code. So I'm going to hit control V into this uh, notepad looking thing and I'm going to click import. So it's going to import one flow and 12 nodes. Oh, it looks like it uh, imported a new tab called Relay Control. Okay, sounds good. So then, well, it looks like I already have the GPIO pins or the GPIO node installed. So let's go down here. I think that maybe it gets installed by default, maybe? Yeah, I already have the Raspberry Pi, so you can see them down on the lower left-hand corner. So let's see what this thing is doing. So turn on Relay 1 it sends message payload equals one. To turn off relay one, it sends payload message payload equals zero. So it sends a number. And then this, oh, this is kind of cool. So it gives you the pinouts of all of the pins. And it, so I'm assuming relay one is GPIO pin number 17. It's a digital output. We just named it, or they just named it Relay 1. And that are all that's all the parameters. Okay, so let's go ahead and deploy this thing. All right, it's got a status of OK. So let's, uh, let's bring this up. This is uh, junk from another flow. So let's, um, let me bring this over here, and let's see... I'm going to bring it over here to the mic. Let's see if we can turn on Relay 1. I didn't hear anything. What about turning off Relay 1? I am not hearing any clicks to turn this thing on or off. Usually there's a click. So let me do some troubleshooting and so I'm turning on and off Oh, Relay 4 turned on and off. Yes, okay, so Relay 4 turned on and off, and whenever Relay 4, actually that is Relay 3. Ah, we found a bug. So Relay 4 is really Relay 3 in here. So let's take a look to see what, so it's GPIO pin 22, digital output. So pins in use, 17, 18, 22, and 27. Hmm. Okay. 27. Oh, you know what? Um... Did you notice here that in Relay 1, there was nothing selected in this uh, table here? But BCM GPIO 17 was defined here. So 
let's come up and see if we can uh, see GPIO pin 17. So let's click that, GPIO pin 17. So let's click done here. Relay 2 is GPIO pin 18. So let's go, so that one is clicked, 18. GPIO pin 27. So let's uh, find GPIO pin 27 here. Uh, let's see. Here's 26. Where is 27? Where is 27? I do not see a 20. Oh, there it is. Up there. And then let's... Um, 22. 22. Okay, so... Well, no change here. So I think that we've got the GPIO pins incorrect. Let's go back here to Relay 4. So Relay 4 works, but it's not Relay 4, it's Relay 3. So let's go, let me find some documentation and see if we got the pins correct, and we'll be right back. Hang on. All right, I'm back. After some trial and error, I went to this Raspberry Pi forums, and it looks like the Key Studio, at least my version, uses pins 4, 22, 6, and 26. So keep that in mind. 4, 22, 6, and 26. So if I come up here to Relay 1, I programmed pin 4 as a digital output, and uh, I did not check the initialized pin state. Relay 2 was pin 22, digital output. Relay 3 is GPI uh, pin number 6, GPIO pin number 6, digital output. And then Relay f uh, 4 is 26, again, digital output. So whenever I, let's move one of these so we can Redeploy. So whenever I redeploy here, it's going to show that all of these relays are okay. And if you can tell here, all of the lights are on. So now that means that they are engaged. Let's turn off relay one. So we just turned off relay one. Turn off relay two. Turn off relay three. And you can see that it, uh, it is green there. Turn off Relay 4. And now all of our relays are green. And it was passed to zero. And you can see that there are no more lights on our relay. So let's turn on Relay 1. Relay 2. Relay 3. And Relay 4. So... This works. We've got our flow in node red, and we know that uh, this works. So anyway, this was a good example of how uh, AI can help you code some and uh, get you over some humps. You can see that it's not perfect. There were some errors in, in issues with the, the GPIO pins. But um, other than that, if you got some basic things that you are doing with Node-RED or any programming language. It, uh, it can do Python, Perl, um, any, any language that, uh, that you can throw at it. I'm sure that it will probably spit out some output, but um, you got to check it and uh, make sure that it's good. So this was a good example on some things that you can do with chat GPT and Node-RED. So hopefully found this interesting. Uh, join us on the Groups.io for Ham Radio for more Node-RED stuff. We'll see you later.